Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Michelangelo's Gourmet Bowls. This one is the Noki Alfredo with bacon. It is potato gnocchi, uncured bacon, and kale in a creamy Alfredo sauce. No preservatives. Um, what does it say? Inspired by Italian traditions. So uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. This one is a 9 ounce meal or 255 grams. We bought these at Kroger. They were $4.69, which is, I think, a little expensive for one meal, but eh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not for you. I don't know. I think it is. All right, it's 260 calories for the bowl. And there's the other information for you. All right, so the directions you can do that in the oven. Um, yeah, it smells, tastes and smells better all the way. So uh, they're basically recommending that you do it in the oven. We're not going to do that, but but they, they say you can do it. Um, so we're going to remove the bowl from the carton and puncture film three to four, two to three times evenly spaced with a fork. Place the bowl in a microwave safe place and place it in a microwave cook for four to five minutes. I'll probably just do four and a half. Remove, let it sit for two minutes before serving. So I'm going to do um, poke it a few times, put it on a paper plate and cook it for four and a half minutes. Um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, you get lots of kale, a little bit of bacon in there, um, quite a bit of gnocchi and sauce. So I'm going to poke a hole in here a few times to get it in the microwave and uh, I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. It smells strongly of bacon and kale. <laughs> or spinach. Is it spinach? It's kale. That's what I thought. So that's what the strongest smells are. So I'm going to stir this up really good, let it cool off because that liquid is molten lava right now. And um, I'll be back. All right, it's had time to cool off. You're supposed to let it sit for two minutes after you stir it up, so that's what it's done. Um, here's the gnocchi and bacon and kale, all and sauce, of course. It's all in one. Hopefully, it's not too hot still. Good. That gnocchi tastes different than what I've had before. It's much softer, almost like a, a ball of cheese. Um, what I'm thinking the gnocchi I've had before was. Um, it was a little firmer like pasta. I don't know. Let me try another bite. That one's firmer. I wonder if that first thing was a ball of cheese. Because that one's a completely different texture. I can tell you the flavors I get is primarily um, the bacon and the like the cheese sauce. Unfortunately, I also get a bitterness from the kale. I can taste the kale but it tastes a little bitter to me. It's not bad, it's not like off-putting, but it is a little bitter. And the cheese sauce is pretty good. I actually like the cheese sauce, it's pretty strong. Yeah, it just says Alfredo sauce. Um, the gnocchi is good and tender. Um, like I said, the first bite, I'm pretty sure it was just a ball of cheese sauce, but no. That one's also much firmer. If it didn't have the kale in it, I think I would like it better, but um, it's still good. The bad thing is that kale is going to get in your teeth. So when you go talk to somebody later on, you're going to say hello to them. You're going to have this big green piece of kale in your teeth. So make sure you go to the bathroom and check your teeth before you talk to anybody. Um, bacon's good. The gnocchi's good. It's a little, um, it's a little bit um, mushy, like um, like sticks to the roof of your mouth a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, the kale, like I said, has a little bit of a bitterness to it. Um, the cheese sauce is really good. So I like the cheese sauce, the bacon, and the, the um, gnocchi itself. The spin, the kale I could live without. Um, hmm. I'm going to give it a three just because I don't think the flavors are like really, really elevated. Even with the kale in there, that doesn't bother me. The little bit of bitterness is not that big a deal. But the flavors are, they're there. They're definitely there, but they're not like great flavors. You know, the cheese sauce is good. It's just a cheese sauce. The bacon is there, but it's not really a strong, like a smoky bacon flavor. You get a little bit of the bacon, but not a lot. And um, the gnocchi itself is good, but they're pretty much flavorless anyway. So um, so you're really going on the cheese sauce, the bacon, and the kale. And those things are all kind of muted. Again, push the kale is muted more. But um, even the cheese sauce, it's good, but it's just not like up there. So it's good, it's just not great. So I'm going to give it a three. Try it out if you're interested in it. I don't, I don't think it's bad necessarily. This is one of those ones that's just going to be personal preference. If you like this kind of meal, try it out. You might love it. You might hate it. 
you might be like me and just be, eh, it's okay. Um, yeah, this one's one you're just gonna have to try out for yourself. Unfortunately, with the cost, I think the cost would prohibit me from buying this again, even if the flavors were awesome. Uh, the cost is a little expensive. For a frozen dinner that you can buy most frozen dinners for less than you know $3.50 or $3, the, being $4.69 is a little high. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.